given all of these possibilities, how do students choose the program that's right for them, right? A lot of it is going to be based on what you can find. Um, and this year in particular, a lot of programs are still going to be virtual. Um, so you want to consider that um, maybe this year is not the year to try to do, um, you know, hands on scientific lab research because those opportunities are going to be quite limited, but maybe that's something you can do next year. Um, and this year, um, if your student is interested in the sciences, maybe it's the data analysis portion of that kind of research. Um, or maybe it's more of a volunteer effort as opposed to um, something that is uh, a paid job, right? Because those, again, are, are in a little bit shorter supply this summer. Think about how you want to balance your summer between giving students a break from the rigors of school uh, and helping them invest in, you know, the things that are coming up. Um, you know, building those skills, planning ahead. Um, and also, you know, consider that they, there may be things that they need to do that are not really part of a structured program or an outside summer experience, but they may be things like test prep or writing their college application essays. You know, it's also valuable. This will be the first summer they'll be able to you'll be able to travel after a, a long year, um, see relatives after a long year. And so that is, you know, just as important um, as a student doing some kind of, you know, meaningful summer activity. Um, so uh, you will want to figure out how all these pieces fit together in a way that is reasonable and, you know, not putting too much pressure on the student after a really tough year.